All right, so I'm going to show how to open up and disassemble a Dell Inspiron model 155584. So first what you want to do is remove all the screws from the bottom. The two in the corner will be held in place with um, with a washer so they won't come out. But you'll undo these two and then these three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Once you undo all those screws, what you want to do is tilt it and then get between the base plate and the palm rest and just pry it with your nails or a pry tool. So just go like that and just pull on it. All right. And just go all along, all the way around. All right. Just like that. Okay. All the way around. Same thing with the back here. So the back actually goes up here. So you want to pry from up there. All right. All right, just like that. Once you do that, actually, let me turn on some more lights. There you go. Once you do that, um, you got the cover off. Okay, the battery is very easy to remove. Um, you just get this piece, the white plastic piece here, and you just wiggle it and pry it out. Um, and then you got a SSD here. Um, this looks like a NVMe PCIe M.2 SSD um, and it also comes with a slot for a um, 2.5 inch SATA. Um, then you can see the cable here goes to the main, this cable goes to the main board um, and then it also has another cable running to the main board here. Um, that's for this USB port and the SD card slot. Okay, then you got a separate button here for the um, power button looks like and I believe the power button is also a fingerprint sensor um, so that goes here um, and then it runs to this small connector here then you got the fan just two screws holding it same with the connector you just grab the two corners and you kind of just wiggle it and it'll come out um, then you got the RAM this is a uh, belief DDR4 let me see what type so here you got um, PC4 2666V, okay, so that's the RAM you'll need. Um, then you got the keyboard backlight cable here, the keyboard cable, um, I believe this is the trackpad cable, and then this is, yeah, for that board. The battery, you can also remove it from this side. Um, the processor soldered in place, um, you can add another stick of RAM, there's only one, and then you got the wireless card here. Um, the antennas, you take, undo this screw, the card will pop up, and then you pull it from the cable and you just lift it up at an angle. Don't try and pry it from the front because you can break the connectors that way. Okay, then you got the DC jack. It looks like the charge port cable actually, oh, it plugs in right here. So you can remove it if you need to. You just have to undo the screws for the hinge and lift the hinge up. All right, then you got the speakers here. Speaker connects right there. The cable runs across for the second speaker. All right. All these connectors are about the same. Um, for these little ribbon cable connectors, you just flip up these little latches and then you can pull the cable out easily. Okay. Um, but that's pretty much it. There's not much else to this. Um, to replace the screen, it's not too difficult. The frame just pops out around the screen. Um, but basically, you would just go underneath, there might be some adhesive, and you just pop up these hinges. This one is broken, so I don't want to take it out, but yeah, the plastic frame's broken. Um, but that's pretty much it, so hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe, because that'll help me. And if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below, and I'll try and get to you as soon as possible. Um, these are customer's computers, so I most likely won't have the computer by the time you get to this video. But um, if anything, I'll, I'll try and help you the best I can. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.